Hey friends, I'm gonna record a quick daily energy practice for you to do anytime, anyplace. Let's get after it. So we always start the same way with the four taps right here under our eyes, right here, top of your collarbone area, center of your chest, and then you're gonna find your spleen point. So where your nipples are, follow them down to where, to the base of your ribs, or you can go ahead and do scarecrow arms and where your thumbs hit the sides of your ribs, you can massage that. I don't like to tap this, I just massage it, okay? Might be sore, it might not be, doesn't matter, okay? We always start this way. Then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze our shoulder. Nice and slow, you're gonna come across your body, off the outside of your leg, off of your pinky toe, same on the other side. Nice and slow the first time. Then, whoops, we're gonna go faster. Here we go. Just crossing your energy over. Here we go, we're gonna go to the back of your kidney area, you're gonna come across again, nice and slow, off the outside of your leg, off of that pinky toe, and then other side. Now we can pick it up. You can do this as long as feels right, okay? There's not a specific recipe or number, just whatever feels right to you. I want you to trust yourself, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and march. We're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. You can do it real small, or you can do it really big and exaggerated. If this feels like you're gonna fall over, then that means you need to meet your energy where it's at. Just march in place until you feel like you can cross over. Goal is to get your energy to cross over. Okay. Now we're gonna cross our legs. You're gonna cross your hands. You're gonna pretzel them up into you. You can rock back and forward if that feels right, or you can just stay here for a minute. There we go. Unwind, other arm in front, other leg in front. All right. We're gonna do a crown pull. This is great if you can't sleep, if you have tons of thoughts in your brain. We're just gonna crown pull, let them all out. You're pulling your skull open, okay? We're gonna do triple warmer. Triple warmer is your fight or flight, calm it down, okay? There's a couple ways you can do this. You can take your hand and you can just wrap your wrist around it. Take a couple breaths. If you do it on one side, you need to do it on the other. If you don't wanna hold your wrists, then you can go ahead and you can either run your fingers across your eyes or just start here at your temples. Tuck your hair behind your ears, come down your neck. You cross your hands over and you flick them off, okay? So you do it nice and slow the first time. And then after that, you can move more quickly All right, so now that we've gotten that, we're gonna go ahead and do our synlymphatic massage. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the outsides of our arms and you're just gonna take your fingers, run them down your arms. Kind of like you're playing the piano. That's at least what I think of, outside of your arms. It might be sore, it might not, it's okay. Here in your armpit area, same thing, just moving some stuff around. Up here in your collarbone area, you're gonna move down to the tops of your breasts, the center of your chest, underneath your bra line. You're gonna find that spleen point that we found earlier, so either right below your nipples or scarecrow arms right here. And you're just gonna massage, okay? You might yawn, you might sigh, you might have nothing happen, and that's okay. So now you're gonna go up and down outside of your belly button. We're gonna massage the top of our bikini area, the sides of your bikini area, outside of one leg, well, outside and inside of one leg, and then you move over to your other leg. Okay, so we've completed that, and this is how you finish every energy practice. 
You can kind of move all those pieces around as they feel appropriate and right. But we always start with the four taps, tapping here, 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 and here. And we always end with the zip up. So you put your finger in your belly button and you put your thumb in between your eyes. You push in and you pull up and you just take a couple breaths. You can also, instead of doing in between your eyes, you can do that indentation at the base of your skull. You just gently push in and you're pushing and you're pulling up. All right, so now that you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and zip up. So I start at my feet and I zip all the way up my body. Like there's an imaginary zipper. I like to do to my back as well. I'm zipping up my own energy. Okay, we're gonna rub our hands together. We're gonna shake it off. Anything that doesn't serve you, shake it off. Rub in them together again. One hand on your chest if it feels right. And then I'm just gonna push out my own protective bubble. Pushing it out. If you don't want to have a hand on your chest, you just push out your bubble. That's cool. We're going to go ahead and we're going to color our bubble or imagine that you're painting it so it's that has a really solid seal. It's airtight. It's just your energy, okay? And then we're just going to make that bubble nice and big all around us. That is your daily energy practice, my friends. I hope that you do it as many times as you need to. I notice that when I'm consistent with it, feel so much more grounded and I just feel better in general. So if you need a little extra, you can go ahead and go outside, touch a tree, rub your feet in the grass, even rub your feet in the carpet, or take a spoon and rub that on your feet. That always helps ground me as well.